Well, hello again, friends. My name is Reverend Thomas Harper, and I am the pastor of St. Luke's United Methodist Church in Bryan College Station. This is Weekly Theistic Reflections, where each week I take a verse of scripture, unpack it a little bit, talk about what's going on in the context of that scripture, talk about how that scripture might relate to what's going on in our world today, or just might be what's going on in my life. Uh, if you're new here, I invite you to take a look around the channel. If you like the content, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Ring that notification bell in order to receive a new video every time I update. Uh, I update a new video basically every Thursday. Um, and if you think somebody would be particularly blessed by the content in this video, I invite you to share that video with them in order to bless them. I'm titling this episode, Saying Goodbye to 2020. And so at the time of posting this video, this is the very last day of 2020. And good riddance, right? <laughs> what a year it has been. Uh, it has been a crazy, difficult, tragic, historic year in 2020. And so uh, just on this New Year's Eve, as we prepare for 2021, uh, I want to officially close the door on all that 2020 was by looking back a little bit so that we can now move forward. <clears throat> Scripture I picked for today comes from Isaiah 41, verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. So today is not only New Year's Eve, but it is also, and more importantly to me, my daughter's birthday. Alyssa Harper is turning four years old today, and she has been such a blessing to me. Um, I'm also a little bit grumpy because it was supposed to be the TCU versus Arkansas Texas Bowl today. Uh, just another example of 2020 doing its thing. Uh, they had to cancel it because of COVID. Um, <clears throat> looking back, like I said, this has been a historic year. And um, there are things that uh, have made it that way that I don't think we'll ever see again, or hopefully we won't ever see again in our lifetime. And we all know about all that's gone on, the economic uh, job situations, uh, social and political divisions and upheaval, but all of that, all of that is far secondary uh, to the loss of life. Uh, that we've all experienced. In a way, I think that has connected us globally. It's reminded us that, man, this, this is a possibility. This, this actually can happen. I think coming into this year, we had no real sense that we could be so connected globally and have every person on the planet essentially having to deal with the same thing, which was COVID-19. And so the loss of life that we have experienced in 2020 has got to take ultimate precedent when we look back on what has happened. Um, for some of us, that has been very close. Uh, that has been in our own household. For others, it's been connected through a friend or a family member or a friend or a friend. Um, and, you know, some of others have just been around it, seen it on the news, experienced uh, the collective grief and sadness and just the weight of loss. Um, and so whether it has affected you on a very personal level, or whether it has affected you on just a secondary remote level throughout all the spectrum. Um, we all get a sense that this was not supposed to be this way. We all get a sense that um, this is something historic and uh, something that's tragic and sad and all of humanity collectively feels this burden and this grief uh, moving forward. And so here's to 2021 and the hopes and prayers of a better year. Uh, a year that uh, will move on and uh, we can put some of this stuff in the past. There's reason to be optimistic in 2021. Uh, the, at this, the time of this recording, the vaccine is out in the wild uh, and doing its thing. I know uh, some of the more vulnerable among us and the first responders are starting to receive the vaccine. It's not an election year anymore, so there's hopefully less reasons for us to go on uh, internet and media and argue and be divided about things. Hopefully um, <clears throat> the country can come together again in a unified goal of a betterment for humanity and for the world. Um, personally, this year has been a whirlwind for me, has, it's been a whirlwind for all of us, um, but we each have different reasons for why that is. Right as this COVID thing started to happen back in March, I found out that I was being reappointed to a new church, uh, that I was gonna be leaving 
my home in Houston, uh, taking a solo pastorate for the first time uh, and moving to what I didn't realize then, but now uh, I know is as Bryan College Station. And in the midst of COVID-19 and shutdowns and not being able to say goodbye to people the way you want to say goodbye to them, and then the, just the anxiety and the stress of something new, uh, taking on uh, something that I had never done before and being the pastor of a church uh, brought a lot of anxiety to me. I remember, uh, in fact, if you go back and watch a couple of the earlier videos that I started on this channel, I talk a lot about the, the anxiety and the fear just of the transition. <clears throat> Last Christmas, uh, so about a year ago now, my daughter's got the Frozen 2 soundtrack. Uh, and that was kind of the soundtrack of 2020 for me. We would drive around in the car and we'd hear songs like, we're going into the unknown and I'm lost in the woods. And uh, the Elsa or the Anna uh, existential song where she feels as though she has lost her sister and doesn't know what to do. And she's just, I'm just going to do the next right thing. As those songs played over and over in my car, my girl sung them, I really was feeling that. Like, God, I don't know what's next. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Um, I feel as though I'm lost and I'm going into the unknown. Just let me do the next right thing. But you know what? As much as 2020 has been difficult for all of us, historic for all of us, um, painful for all of us, I'd imagine that on this, the last day of this year, if you look back, or maybe you're watching this video uh, several days into 21, 2021, if you looked back on 2020 and you were intentional, you could still find glimpses of bright spots in the darkness. You could still find ways in which God was there, blessing you, taking care of you, and providing for you. If you look for it, I bet you could find it. We've learned creative new ways to protect each other and to love each other and to continue to do work even if we can't be around each other all the time. I remember thinking, man, I'm going to go to a church and meet a new congregation for the first time, but I can't even interact with them the way I would want to. Well, God has kind of shown us that even though things can be difficult, we can find creative ways to work around it. Um, we have been reminded of what's most important. You know, when we've had all of our comfort stripped away, it kind of reminds us, um, you know, what matters most, um, what we need the most. Uh, maybe uh, the things that we used to think were important to us just aren't as important to us anymore. A recent blessing that I have experienced in my own life is riding around in the car with my three girls and singing along to a Justin Bieber song called Holy. Now, I never thought I would like Justin Bieber, but I gotta tell you, friends, uh, this side of 2020, uh, when we're driving around, looking at Christmas lights, uh, and all enjoying uh, music together, uh, the 38-year-old, uh, uh, all the way down to the now four-year-old, singing Justin Bieber, holy, 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 just reminds me that we are blessed. We have what we need. And even though it has been a difficult year, God has been with us, reminding us um, that he will guide us through the darkness and on into the light uh, in 2021. And so if we look for the, the bright spots in our midst um, of the year, we will find God's fingerprints all over it. And so as we move into 2021, a little tentatively, <laughs> um, still not sure where we're going next, remind us of where we've gone. We've made it. We made it through this year, this difficult, crazy year, and God will see us through to the next. Here's the question that I want you to ponder. When you look back on 2020, where have you seen bright spots in your own life? Obviously, there's plenty of bad, um, and it wouldn't be hard for you to find that, but I want you to think about the good. What were ways that you have been blessed? Where have you perhaps seen God's fingerprints even in the midst of that year? Next week, I wanna talk about why it's important to be a member of a church. Uh, if you are in the Bryan College Station area, I invite you to check us out. Uh, we have a worship service every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Uh, if you do come, please wear a mask. We are still social distancing. We hope to not have to do that too much longer, but we will do it as long as we need to in order to keep each other safe and to love each other well. 
Uh, you can also live stream us and see past services and see just kind of what we're about. Uh, and while you're here on the channel, I invite you to take a look at this video. Uh, talk, in it, I talk about how God recommissions us that when we mess up, God doesn't just move on. God gives us a new name and commissions us again. Till then, friends, Happy New Year. Uh, I hope you and yours are safe, that you enjoy the rest of your holidays and bring on 2021. May it be drastically better than the year before it. Take care, friends. Continue to love each other well, and I will see you again soon.